Chris, just take us take us through that last play and that gamble you take that, that paid off. Well, in regular, at the end of the fourth quarter in regulation, uh, I saw our coach going giving us an X, which is in, to an intentional foul because we had one foul to give, and I made them set up like an out of bounds play. And then he told us to, this, to watch for him and do the same thing, and he just told me to keep creeping up, creeping up. And then I saw the X go up. I just took a gamble and came up lucky, I guess. So when you saw yourself there in the open court, nobody in front of you, what was going through your mind? I just wanted to make the layup, to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, make this, game's over. Coach, talk about your decision to stay back in that zone. They were holding for last shot. They had the ball with a minute left. And you know, it appeared they were going to get a last shot. Obviously, number 10 changed, changed, the, changed that up. But just during that timeout to stay back, <clears throat> stay back in that zone and what um, looked like giving the last shot. Okay, it was what it looked like. We, we knew we had a foul to give. We stayed in it. Um, again, we stayed in it the whole game simply because they're more athletic. They were faster. We wanted them to have to play just a little bit harder. And I think we forced that. And then in that last play, we talked a lot about be ready. And when I flashed the X, whoever's closest is going to go to try to get the ball, just run through them, do whatever it takes to get it. Because if you get the foul, it's only six. They'll have to set up on the sideline, be about seven, eight seconds to go. If they don't get it and we get the ball, everybody scramble around and see what we can do. And if we get it and we can't break, call the timeout. We got plenty of them. Chris got it. There was nobody between him and there. And he just did a great job finishing. Corey, you pick up two fouls in the first minute, eight seconds of the game. Don't really play at all in the first half. How frustrating was that? Was it, was it hard to kind of get your rhythm in the second half there? Oh, it was definitely very frustrating, uh, just knowing that I'm going to spend my final game, the first half on the bench. But, you know, my, I, uh, my, my senior teammates and everyone, everyone, my other teammates played a great job out there. They hustled every possession. We ended up going down by, what, three in the first half. Yep. So we were in, in striking distance the whole game, and I knew I was going to have to lay it all on the line in the second half. And so, so did all these guys. We knew it was our last game. We just left it all out there. We came out on top. How hard was it in the second half for you to get back in the rhythm after sitting you know, for so long after that? Uh, it was definitely pretty tough for me because the game was so so fast, so it took me a little while to get used to, it, to the speed. But once I started catching up to it, I started shooting the ball in rhythm. I started making some shots, getting to the foul line, and finding open guys for shots as well. Yeah, some people on that coach just, you know, obviously Corey is your leading scorer, your best player, and he's on the bench for the whole first half. And you look up at halftime, you guys are. I think it was even tied or a two-point game. I mean, talk about that and, and also speak volumes of Dante and Kyle and Chris and the other guys, you know, holding the fort. Um, when he picked up the second foul, I figured we were in a little bit of trouble. Um, but what we've noticed this year is everybody, the next man always seems to step up. And, you know, Corey says what he says. He says some nice things. But he was driving me crazy on the sideline. I'm ready. I'm ready. Come on, put me in. And, you know, I didn't want to lose the game in the first half. So if we fell behind by eight, he was going back in. But the kids just kept playing hard. And, you know what, I'll take my chances. If we're playing that hard and that well, and I got a fresh Corey coming out in the second half, I, I, I like my chances. And, you know, he may have missed his first couple. We called a play for him to get him off the screen. He got it, knocked it down. We called another one so he could get to the line. And, it was just to get him warmed up so that he could feel back to the pace of the game and things like that, and he did a great job. But get my hats off to everybody that stepped in in that first half because they just did a fabulous job, you know, playing defense because that's what we ask. Just play defense. Don't worry about scoring. Keep it low. And they did a nice job. Kyle, Kyle when Corey got in foul trouble, you really seemed to, to take that role as the, you know, the primary ball handler, the primary scorer. Just talk about, you know, how you were able to step up in his absence and really, really carry the load for your squad. Well, I knew when he got his second foul, we had to slow it down and just take our time on offense. And you know, I had to take, I had to be a little bit more aggressive with my shot because uh, you know clearly he's no one can guard him. <laughs> Bottom line. So you know, I did that. But then when they drew two, I was also finding the open man. Dante had a lot. I know uh, put back layups. Chris hit a very big three. It wasn't just me; it was everyone. It was just a great team effort. Any of you guys, I know you didn't really have time to set anything up that final four or five seconds when they threw the ball long down court, but what was going on through your mind when you know, they threw the ball toward the basket and oh, got yeah. his hands on it? To be honest, I thought he was going to catch it, and he just dropped it. But Dante was right there with his hand. I think it would have been a tough shot to make, but I just tried to go get it. You know, And then when I touched it, you know, the game was over. Coach, if this is a regular season game, obviously you would have held him out until halftime with, with two fouls. How hard was the decision for you to make? 
in, in a state title game to hold to hold it out there? You know, was it a big roll of the dice for you? Uh, like I said, we weren't going to lose the game in the first half. So if it got out of hand, you know, I'd have put him back in the game and we'd have rolled the dice that way. But when you got Kyle, who just stepped up, you know, he, I just can't say enough of what he did today. And then Chris coming back out there and playing the way he did. But it was Dante. I mean, look at what Dante did. I think he had double-double, 11 points, 14 rebounds. I mean, the, everybody that maybe nobody reads about in the paper, those are the guys that stepped up big today in that first half that kept us in the game. And we believed and we preached the message about team first, team this, and it showed. I mean, I've trusted in each one of these kids all year, and today they trusted in each other. Dante, talk about uh, your role. Obviously, you had a, a matchup with another formidable big man down there. Talk about talk about that battle down on the block with him. Yeah, uh, coming into this game, I knew it was going to be a very physical game, very aggressive. They like to attack the rim. And just coming into this game, I set main goals for myself just to protect the rim and get every single rebound, get every loose board, so that way that I can limit their chances and eventually take their big man out of the game. And I feel like I did a good job with that because, like Coach said, getting 14 rebounds definitely helps a lot. I was able to get my hand on a couple shots, which also limited them. And just being able to stop their possessions and just being able to get us more chances just helps our team out and just keeps the score close, just keeps also, us in it. You also made a lot of the little plays. Like you said you got your hand on it. When you picked up, picked up some loose balls with the rebounds, and especially with, with Corey out, you guys needed that badly. Did you feel extra pressure? Because it really looked like you were you were just rolling right with it. Um, you know, I mean, I don't. I didn't really feel a lot of pressure. Of course, it's a tough situation. I was. I was definitely nervous. I'll say that. But the pressure. I knew that if I just went out there and I just played my role. If I just played my game, then I knew it would be good. Just attacking the re attacking the boards and getting rebounds and just finding the open man, kicking it back out, putting up any loose shots to come off. I knew if I did that, then I was definitely going to help my team, and we we're going to stay in it. For any of the players, and also Coach Stephanie, you talk about just the great fan support you guys had out there. Oh. Is that yeah, well, our fans are the best <laughs> in the state, in all honesty. They come out each and every night supporting us, whether it's a school night, Friday night, driving down to Woodlawn, coming down here to College Park. They, they always come out and support us, and we can't thank them enough. For, I know with us, a very memorable senior year. It's been a blast, and I'm just set sad it's over. Chris, has it hit you yet that you just had a steal on one of the best players in the state in the game-winning layup in <laughs> overtime to win a state championship? It, say yes. It has, to be honest with you. I don't think it will hit me until maybe tomorrow, maybe. Uh, but no, I'm still in shock. Was that your girlfriend that you was hugging in? That's my sister. I'll get him away from those questions. Um, and did you think you'd be able to have a shot at making this deal if he went and called for it? Um, probably not because I probably would have sagged back and just seen what happened. So, but you saw it, but then you but saw, I saw him and When you said him, you saw what, like an opening where you could get? Because I think you were kind of timing him a little bit, a couple of people. Oh, I knew because in our little scouting report, um, it said. Well, that the season's over, coach. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, 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 no, I'm just laughing. He pulls that up. Well, our scouting report <laughs> said he liked to cross over in front of him, so I saw he was getting ready to cross over, so I just stuck my hand down there. And would, you, would you just stick your hand and knock it away? <laughs> I want to recommend you guys on foul shoot. These three guys here. They didn't miss anything. I was say these three guys here shot 80% all year. They were year. shooting perfect. Three all of the right. top four in Hartford yeah, County right but, here. So. Yeah, but last night, they did the a, team didn't miss nothing. Oh, no. And I said that was the foul shot's going to make a difference. And, and, and it did. Oh, you're saying it? A couple of groups here with Sierra Wright, guard Chris, Lorenzo, Chris. Incredible, incredible play. I mean, a play that would go down in, in state championship war for, for a long time. Just walk me through that play. I know you guys had a foul to give, and that's what was discussed in that timeout. But talk about, you mentioned the scouting report. You mentioned you're trying to time this crossover. Just take me through that play. Well, he, I saw him dribbling up there trying to get the last shot, obviously. And 
I just kept creeping up, creeping up, and I took one jab at him to see what he was going to do, and then I took another jab at him, and I saw him cross. I just stuck my hand out there and saw the ball was loose, picked it up, finished. As you were, as you were taking him to the cup, he was obviously kind of chasing you down. Mm -hmm. Were you maybe were you kind of cognizant of where he was? Yeah. Or, or yeah. What you were trying to... I found him on my back a little bit, and then I was debating whether to jump stop, but then I figured I'd go up with it, get fouled, and go to the line. And... You make that shot, obviously, four seconds left. They don't get a shot up. You run up into your crowd there. You know, just talk about that emotion that, that kind of took over. Yeah, I couldn't even tell you what hit me. It just all hit me at once. And like we said in there, we have the best fans in the state, and I give all recognition to them, and I love them to death. All right, Chris, congratulations. Thank you. Tremendous play.